I've talked a little bit about my favorite pocket pen, which is the Koweco Sports, and I've got a couple of different versions. The classic plastic sports, and my favorite, which is the Koweco Brass Sport. And I thought it'd be really interesting just to do a one-year review of my pen. It's been about a year since I bought it, and it's been through its trials and tribulations of my daily EDC use of it. And I thought I'd share a little bit about what I like about this pen and perhaps gripes, if any, uh, or cons for your consideration. To be clear, I'm biased. I love this pen. Let me tell you why. The Koweco Brass Sport, a small pocket pen. It's about four inches and capped, boasted about five inches. It's got a good weight to it. I've talked about that in the previous video. It's about 80 grams of weight and it costs roughly about 110 Canadian dollars around that range or about 98 US dollars depending on where you get it from. When you go to buy these pens, you'll notice that there's a silver finial and they come with a silver finish nib. I personally opted to get the gold finish nib just to change things up. And I've also got a little clip, which I've talked about in another video that I added on, which is a copper version of the clip and it's a slightly more elegant look, at least in my opinion, compared to the classic clip. A couple of different options when it comes to clips and again, I have talked about that in a previous video. What I really like about this pen, this has been in my pocket on my Galen Leather Passport for a year, just about a year, and it's gotten every single day usage out of me. I had it, I bought it with an extra fine nib and I primarily used it for jotting down notes while I was out and about and writing down shopping lists and things like that. And there's a crow that's going. <laughs> And I love it because it's beautiful to look at. When I bought it originally, it had a... When I bought it originally, it had a bright shininess to it. And it's developed a patina over time. So it's lost a little bit of that luster. But I think, in my opinion, it's just very, very beautiful and gorgeous to look at. It's a solid weight. I've talked about that. 80 grams. And the fact that it's in my pocket... I always know it's there because I can feel it. I'm not concerned about it getting lost in the mix. Generally, it's a pleasure to write with. It's absolutely smooth, and I'll show you a couple of writing samples today. I love it so much that I'm gonna swap out the extra fine to a medium nib today as well. In my collection, this would be the only pocket pen that I would be really sad to lose. So I baby it and I, I watch it like a hawk because I really, really like it. And if I did lose it, I'd pick up another one in a heartbeat. This is the Kueco Brass in an extra fine. This is a beautiful gold nib. Sorry, let me be clear. This is a beautiful steel nib, gold plated. And this is in the extra fine here. So that's the Kaweco brass and the extra fine. And as I said, I want to switch it out to medium. So we're going to do just that. I'm really liking the medium. As you can tell, it's a lot more ink flow than the extra fine, obviously, as it should be. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Another satisfying upgrade. Some commenters have talked about how this pen has been a little bit too heavy for them. And let's just chat about that for a second. It is heavier than the classic sports, the plastic versions. It has got a nice heft to it. In my opinion, I really like it. It 
uh, generally lends itself to a nice even distribution in the way I hold my pen, but I get it. It's subjective depending on how you hold your pen and how you write with your pen as well. Generally, I like the weight so much so that, uh, as I just mentioned, I want to swap the nib out to a medium because I really want to use it as a daily driver and that weight for longer writing sessions or long form journaling, I think is just going to be a perfect match. So let's talk about cons or the gripes, if any. Brass has a smell. Now, it's not a natural smell in the sense that the metal itself doesn't have a smell, but, and this is perhaps a little bit gross, but it's just biology. When brass comes in contact with your skin and the oils in it, it actually has a bit of a chemical reaction and that's what creates that strong metallic smell and some people really dislike that. If that's the case for you perhaps this isn't the pen that you want to be holding. That smell does linger on your hands for a little bit so keep that in mind. I don't mind the smell perhaps just because it's so gorgeous to look at it, I just I've gotten accustomed to it. That patina develops actually from a little bit of oxidization uh, but primarily from that contact with your skin and so that's what enables it to develop that character and that richness which is another plus in my opinion. So I guess when it comes down to it I just really like this pen and I've listed off a lot of reasons that I really like it and if there is one gripe it would perhaps be the smell if at all. If you like these videos please consider clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below they help me to continue putting out these videos. I really enjoy the comments if you have a brass sport out there I'd love to hear about your experiences and what drew you to this pen and how you're liking it. A year in I can't say enough good things about it. Thanks very much for joining me today. Take care and have a wonderful day.